Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about some brand new SSDs. That's right, all of a sudden the new generation of PCIe Gen 4 x 4 SSDs are landing left, right and centre. And the latest to join the mix is MSI with their Spartium? Spatum? Spatum? Spate, I'm going to call it Spartium or Spatium throughout the course of this video, but I'm fairly certain I am butchering the pronunciation of that uh, model ID just like anything else. It's actually three separate SSDs that are in this range, the M480, the M470 and the M370. Three new SSDs, two of them, uh, the first two there are PCIe Gen 4x4 and the last one is PCIe Gen 3x4 and these are newer generation SSDs that are really capitalising on that brand new, uh, new Fizon uh, controller there, the E18 or the E18 PS5018, super cool name there, dude. Um, as little as a week and a half ago, we were talking about how Seagate had finally shown us uh, the Fire CUDA 530 series. This is a 520 SSD, but the fact that that arrived on the market gave us hope just to how much the SSD market was going to change very, very rapidly. And that controller is being made available to a number of different manufacturers, MSI being one of them. Now, things have changed a lot in SSD over the last 12 months, from PC gamers to console gamers to uh, online content creators, video editors, and more. I remember when this, the Samsung 980 Pro, kind of stood away from everyone in terms of its overall performance and, and ability on the SSD market and now midway through 2021 we are seeing an enormous array of SSDs that can hit that 7,000 megabytes per second mark and these MSI SSDs are definitely one of them. So let's talk about all three ranges, how they compare. Um, as mentioned, uh, the first two there, the uh, 480 and the 470, they are PCIe Gen 4x4. They've got that controller as well inside. Uh, they provide the NVMe 1.4 and 1. Point, uh, uh, sorry, NVMe 1.3 respectively in terms of their architecture there, which is reflected in the performance and most certainly the price point, I'm sure. But with the highest generation one, the 480, arriving in 500 gig, 1 TB and 2 TB. So not the 4 TB that Seagate announced uh, a little over a week ago, which I was very surprised by, if I'm totally honest. Um, arriving with performance of a maximum at the 2 TB level of 7,000 megabytes per second read and 6,850 megabytes per second write. All of these SSDs today take advantage of 3D NAND, which again, shouldn't come as a huge surprise. Um, the 470 series, on the other hand, and I'm going to keep glancing at my notes, that is available in 1TB and 2TB, and that SSD has a maximum reported performance on the 2TB of 5,000 megabytes per second read and 4,000 megabytes per second write. So quite a big jump between the two of those, and again, a lot of that comes down to that 1.4 architecture of the NVMe. And finally, at the end there, and I say the end, it's still a very, very good SSD with a respectable performance, the PCIe Gen 3x4 SSD, the M370, and that one has got a reported performance of 2,400 megabytes per second uh, read over 1,800 megabytes per second write. Now, again, that is because of that NVMe architecture being the older generation there, although, of course, the high-performance ones are backwards compatible all the way through. I'm sorry if this NAS here in the background is making a lot of noise throughout this video. Um, again, middle away through the recording something else that might be humming through there onto the mic. Um, now, in terms of uh, endurance and performance outside of those uh, traditional read and write uh, stats, the higher generation SSD app, all of those 480, arrived with uh, 650,000 over 700,000 reported uh, read-write IOPS. The 370 at 600,000 IOPS straight. And finally, the one at the end there, 220,000 over 330,000 read-write IOPS reported and of course, random. In terms of MTBF, we have got 1.6 million hours, 1.7 million hours, and 1.5 million hours, respectively, over the 480, 470, and 370. But what's really interesting is that data writes per day, because everything we're seeing there, because they didn't report the data right per day, but we know we can reverse engineer it, and we saw that it's rated at 0 0.7 data writes per day. Now, I'm not seeing that around in a lot of places, so unless something's fundamentally wrong there, 
that is, you know, on par with some of the other top ones out there. Now, I think the lesser ones are 0.3 and 0.5 respectively, but still that data rights per day rating makes this a very, very impressive SSD. And although prices haven't been formalized yet and they're not available for purchase in the same way as the Fire CUDA 530s that we've seen on the market, these are still some impressive architecture SSDs that are arriving. And once again, if you are in the market of buying a new laptop, a new PC right now, it might be worth considering long term and paying that little bit extra right now to go for something that's got a PCIe Gen 4 M2 slot because the bottleneck in the, on those big SSDs, think about that. Even these, the five CUDAs that we talked about in the Samsung's, not just the MSI's, at 7,000 megabytes per second, obviously on the larger capacities with lower performance fractionally on the smaller uh, capacity drives. But still, 7,000 megabytes per second compared with that of 3,400 to 3,500, that's insane. Whatever money you think you're going to be saving by not going for a PCIe Gen 4 M2 NVMe slot, I think it's mad not to. I know I am, and I hope you do too. We'll, of course, be talking more and more about SSDs as they get unveiled throughout the course of this summer. We think we're going to see an enormous splurge of SSDs suddenly landing on the market all at once. So uh, another thing to bear in mind, if you're someone that's looking at the previous gen, I reckon you're going to see some price cuts. Cheer or no cheer, be damned, that's going to happen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about this SSD, there's some information in the description. Other than that, I will see you on the next video.